it's it's a little hard for me to speak personally about it. It takes me a minute to get into it because I'm so focused on the structure and maintaining the structure and supporting the course. Uh, that is my that is my dharma these days, and I'm fully um, committed to it. Um, no, I'm good. To um, be be available um, to be there in support, whatever is needed. And then I try to think about what it is, you know, because there's plenty of silence there for me as well. <clears throat> Once the meditation bell goes off, I don't sit there and think about things like such, you know, that need to be fixed. I can go into myself very easily and leave the world behind. So there is all those moments of silence. And then, of course, within those meditations, there's all the variations that all you have. Some are deep, some are shallow. Sometimes there are some thoughts that come in, but for the most part, it's very restful. And I'm grateful for that. So I can see these periods of rest that get sprinkled throughout the whole year, um, particularly in the wintertime between courses, when whew, I'm the only one in Sydney House um, frequently. <clears throat> Or even after this pilgrimage program will end, there will be be a lull um, and quiet. And you almost, you know, you come in, actually lock the doors when you're all are gone. You know, when I'm gone for the day, I, I have a set of keys and I lock the door like a normal house. It's kind of different. Um, and then you come in and you open it. And it's like, wow, there's there's so much energy and there's so much personalities that I can imagine in the space because there's been so many people have been in that house for a couple years now so there's been so many people that come and go and so you know the wall stock it's all there um the layout in the living room of where I know where certain people sit you know so that's all there so that theme of that silence that I was starting with was it gets scattered throughout the year, I guess is what I'm saying, with so many courses, with so many people coming and going, longer courses, shorter courses, um, one day events, uh, world mother coming up. But basically, I'm just jumping from place to place um, physically on the outside but I do notice as the years go by that that greater silence that greater equanimity that greater stillness just remains and it's yes there's these activities bouncing off of it but it's moving along through time as we move through these all these courses so in that way, the nine day is just a plying on of more silence, more depth, more stillness. And I can't, well, I could, I, I already shared earlier today that <clears throat> during this nine day, um, Rajas has come back into my system. When I spoke the other day, I talked about Thomas that this, this season, this um, May, June, July, um, there was this influx of Thomas and this integration, this wanting to go within in the COVID time and, um, and all that. Um, and in this last four days or so, I've noticed this, oh, this Thomas, I mean, this Rajas has come back in. And... Um, it's driven my personal authority to a new level. So I didn't time that, so that feels complete. So we'll pass that to you. Thank you. <clears throat>